What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, B Boy Fast Giant TV, and tonight I'll go on my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow on my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And let's talk about SmackDown. Now, SmackDown was a decent show, and the only thing I enjoyed was Ray Mysterio's segment. That's all I gotta say. It was just a decent show. Alright, SmackDown was live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Alright, so we go to um, Then, Now, Forever, Together. The WWE, WWE video leads us into the show. A video kicks off the show that highlighted Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn reuniting last Friday on SmackDown. This past Monday on Raw, they challenged the Usos to the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match at WrestleMania 39. And I hope the Usos will drop the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And that's all I got to say. Then it says, um, wrestling has more, has more than one Royal Rumble. Not war I'm sorry, wrestling has more than one Royal Family. That's all I got to say. <clears throat> so we get Cody Rhodes versus Ludwig Caster coming by Giovanni Vinci. Um, this match was pretty good. Pretty good in my eyes. This was a pretty good match for what it was. This is Cody Rhodes' first SmackDown match since April 2016. The bell rings and they circled the ring. They lock up and Caster turns Cody Rhodes into the corner. Caster punches him in the in the mid session. Cody Rhodes counters out of a whip and hits a delayed delayed front suplex. <clears throat> Paul Heyman and the special counsel for for undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns makes his way out to the stage. Cody Rhodes stares at him. Um, Caster grabs Cody Rhodes, but Cody Rhodes takes him down and hits a running knee. Caster rolls out of the ring to recover. Cody Rhodes angrily looks towards Paul Heyman, who is standing at the top of the ramp. So we go to commercial break. <clears throat> Excuse me. We come back from the break to see Caster hit Cody Rhodes with a with the double cut and a flatliner for a two count. Paul Heyman is still on stage watching. Caster punches away at Cody and looks at Paul Heyman. During during the commercial break, Cody Rhodes hit a top rope superplex on on Caster. Caster elbows Cody Rhodes in the head and goes outside the ring. Caster pulls Cody Rhodes' legs to the ring post, but Cody Rhodes pulls Cody Rhodes pulls him into the post. Cody Cody Rhodes punches Caster around ringside and punches away at him against the commentary table. Cody Rhodes gets Caster in the ring and um, ducks a clothesline and goes to the ropes for a springboard, but Caster chops blocks him. Caster knees Cody Rhodes in the face for a near fall. <clears throat> Cody Rhodes tr tries, yeah, Cody Rhodes tries to fight back, but Caster pushes him down into the ropes before choking him. The referee and Marlish Caster, so Vincey gets a cheap shot in. Caster covers Cody Rhodes for a one count. Caster applies a chin lock. Cody Rhodes fights up, but Caster powers him down. <clears throat> Caster Saturns around the ring and talks a little trash before punching punching away at, at him again. Caster stumps the forehead and hits a sliding uppercut for a near for a near fall. Cody Rose leans against the ropes. The WrestleMania sign looms. Uh um uh, um anonymously um in the background. Caster kicks Kicks the ropes into Cody, Cody Rhodes' neck. Cody Rhodes tries to fight back, but Caster hits a jawbreaker. Cody, I mean, I'm sorry. Caster stumps Cody Rhodes in the corner and whips him to the opposite corner. Cody Rhodes quickly draws Caster on the apron and hits a disaster kick. Cody Rhodes gets to his feet, and Paul Heyman is staring intensely at him, at the man his tribal chief will will face at WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes sets up for crossroads 
but ca- but he tossed his caster outside when Sol Sequoia joins Paul Heyman inside. Paul Heyman and Sol Sequoia start making their way down down the realm. Caster quickly chop blocks Cody Rhodes and whips him into the steel steps into into the steel ring steps. So we go to commercial break. Back from the break, Cody Rhodes and Caster take each other out with a double clothesline. Both men slowly get to their feet before the referee counts them down. They trade punches before Caster kicks him. Cody Rhodes reverses a whip and follows him into the ropes for a running form. Cody Rhodes drops down and hits an overcut, and and his older, older, older brother Dustin, Dustin Goldust Rhodes. Um, Cody Rhodes slingshots over Caster and hits a snap power slam for a near fall. Um, um Paul Hammond and Sol Sequoia stare on from ringside. Vince throws his shirt into the ring. The distraction allows Caster to hit a stiff Larry on Cody Rhodes for a near fall. Cody Rhodes stumbles to the corner. Caster hits a running overcut and a kick to the head, followed by a double underhook snap suplex. Caster comes off the second row for a diving uppercut. Cody Rhodes counters into a cross rolls attempt. Caster quickly counters into a roll up for a two count. Cody Rhodes ducks a close line and hits the Cody Cutter. Cody Rhodes gets the crowd fired up. Cody Rhodes connects with the crossroads for the victory. The winner of the match, Cody Rhodes. This was a pretty good match for what it was. In my eyes, this was a pretty good match. Paul Heyman and Sol Sequoia get on the apron. Paul Heyman has a microphone and says Cody Rhodes is on an apology. Since he since his since he's the wise man of the bloodline, Paul Heyman will be the one to deliver the apology. Paul Hamas gets in the gets in the microphone. Paul, <clears throat> Paul Hamas says Samantha Iron Urban Iron did well Urban did a bad job announcing him and says she must be from Las Vegas. Paul Heyman does the post match ring announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is still Challenger for the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Universal Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns, Cody Rose. Cody Rose there said Paul Heyman. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Paul Heyman then says the very same. Says the very same. Cody Rose that sees his road to WrestleMania with a with a giant pothole in front of him. That happens this Monday night on Raw when you go one go one versus one against Solo Sequoia. So Sequoia sneers at Cody Rhodes. If Cody Rhodes survives against Solo Sequoia, then it's not the road to WrestleMania. All roads lead to Roman Reigns, who will be live on SmackDown next Friday to see Cody Rhodes one final time face to face. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Paul Heyman throws the microphone, but Cody Rhodes catches it. Um, Cody Rhodes asks if Mr. Heyman is moving the goal, goal post on him. Cody Rhodes isn't happy that he interrupted the crowd singing his song. This is Cody Rhodes expected to say no to the Raw to the Raw match with, with only six days before WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes still ra- wrestled with half his body hanging off and beat Seth Rollins. <clears throat> as good as Solo Sequoia is, Cody Rhodes already told him that he is not ready. As for the champion, Roman Reigns, after Solo finds out that he's not, not ready, on April 2nd, he'll find out the same thing. Roman Reigns is not ready either. Cody Rhodes throws the microphone to Paul Heyman, who drops it. Okay, let's move on. Um... <clears throat> Michael Cole announces that John Cena versus Austin Theory for the United States Championship will kick off WrestleMania weekend on Saturday, April first. So, so that's gonna be on night one, WrestleMania thirty nine, night one. I now can't wait for that match too. But there are a lot of predictions that that Austin Theory might be John Cena. Um, but I could be wrong by saying by John Cena might be Austin Theory, but who knows? But I cannot wait to see that match. 
But anyway, let me continue. SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair is walking backstage, so we go to commercial break. <clears throat> the progressive match flow showcase the big brawl between SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley last week. Okay, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair makes her way to the ring to a great reception. Charlotte Flair gets in the ring and greets Las Vegas. We're just eight days away from WrestleMania, 14-time world champion. Charlotte Flair says that was not built. No fear, insecurities, or nepotism. Ne- nepotism. The same three things have been used against her by everyone since she started in this business. Fear. What is fear? It's a lack of understanding and ignorance. This business was, wasn't built on fear. It was built on respect. She doesn't fear Rhea Ripley. She respects her. The only thing Charlotte Flair fears, fears is her own potential. She respects every woman she's ever entered the ring with. You're right that, that Charlotte Flair has insecurities. Charlotte Flair gets angry that the crowd is giving her the, her the what treatment. Charlotte Flair says she's built this house that every brick, every brick the people have thrown, have thrown at her for the last seven years. Listen, lastly, nepotism. Charlotte Flair says she loves her dad and will never apologize for countering the greatest legacy in sports entertainment. Whether you like it or not, or where you like it or don't like it, you better learn to love it because diamonds are forever, and so is Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair lets out a woo and her music plays. All right. Still to come, Sami Zayn will be the special guest on the Kevin Owens show. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are showing are showing talking backstage. Okay. <clears throat> Rey Mysterio, who who will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class class of 2023 next Friday, makes his makes makes his way to the ring. Rey Mysterio embraces his daughter at ringside and kiss his wife. Rey Mysterio will face LA Knight next. Commercial break. Las Vegas um, magician Piff Piff the Mag- Piff the Magic Dragon is at ringside. We have will have a WrestleMania contract signing for the for the WWE Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat match later tonight. Okay, so we get Rey Mysterio versus LA Knight. Now this match right here, um, this was um, this was um a solid match. <clears throat> yeah, this was solid. Um, the bell rings and Mysterio quickly takes it to LA Knight. Mysterio hits a dropkick to the corner and goes for a monkey flip. But LA Knight told him, told, holds him up and slams him down. Mysterio avoids an elbow drug and connects with the monkey flip. Mysterio kicks LA Knight in the leg and does the 10 punches in the corner. Mysterio shimmies like his soon to be a fellow WWE Hall of Famer best friend, Eddie Guerrero. Mysterio hits the ropes. But LA Knight hits him with a flapjack. Um, LA Knight stomps away at Rey Mysterio and puts him in a corner. Um, LA Knight punches Mysterio down on the ropes. LA Knight shows Mysterio to the, the corner and hits a net breaker for a one count. LA Knight continues to punch Mysterio and puts him back in the corner. LA Knight sends Mysterio into the ropes, but Mysterio ducks two close lines. Mysterio sends him out of the ring with a head sensor takeover. Mysterio floors him with a baseball slide before sliding out of the ring into a span into a splash on LA Knight. Mysterio pulls for the crowd and gets LA Knight back in the ring. Mysterio shoulders LA Knight and kicks him in the head. Mysterio goes to the ro- to the top ropes, but the music of Dominic Mysterio Hits to the hits to distract him. Um, Dominic Mysterio walks down the rail. La Knight chops blocks Ray off the top rope. Commercial break. Um, we come back from the break to see La Knight stomping away at Ray Mysterio. 
Dominic Mysterio is standing at ringside. Rey Mysterio punches back at LA Knight, but LA Knight needs him in the mix section. Rey Mysterio quickly rolls LA Knight up before drop kicking him down. Rey Mysterio slides through, slides through the leg and, and charge, but LA Knight crushes him with a big boot for a near fall. LA Knight takes Rey Mysterio down with a back suplex and pulls over him. LA Knight pulls, pulls on the mask before sending him into the ropes. Rey Mysterio goes for a run across body block, but LA Knight catches him and counters into a power slam. Rey Mysterio also managed to avoid a leaping elbow drop. Um, Rey Mysterio elbows LA Knight back and hits a springboard wheelbarrow bulldog. Rey Mysterio goes to the top row for a flying seat at the same time. Rey Mysterio follows up with a springboard crossbody for a two count. LA Knight reverses a whip and kicks him. Rey Mysterio flips through a back flips through a back suplex, but LA Knight counters a head scissors into the modified alley hoop bomb for a near fall. LA Knight goes for a power slam, but Rey Mysterio counters into a tornado DDT. The crowd chants 619. Rey Mysterio drop kicks LA Knight into the ropes and goes for a 619, but LA Knight catches him. Rey Mysterio counters into a wild, wild head scissors to put him back into the ropes. Um, Rey Mysterio hit, hits the ropes, but Dominic Mysterio grabs his father's feet. LA Knight rolls, rolls Rey Mysterio up for the win. For the, yeah, for the victory. The winner of the match, LA Knight. This match was solid for what it was. Dominic Mysterio gets on the microphone and gets in the, gets in the ring. The bulls are loud. Dominic asks if, if his father is going to give him what he wants. Dominic Mysterio shoves his father and asks if he if he runs away. He will will he finally be a man and face him at WrestleMania. Rey Mysterio angrily stares at his son and wags a finger in the negative. Um Rey Mysterio rolls out of the ring. Dominic Mysterio tells his father to walk away like like he always do. Like he always does. Dominic asks if Dominic asks his mother what it's like to be married to is such a pathetic loser. The cro- this this crowd cannot stand up to his own son. Dominic goes to ringside and approaches his mother and sister. Did his mother knew know she married a deadbeat? Um, she angrily looks at him. She sat there every night while his father abandoned him. That makes her a deadbeat mom. His sister gets in his face, but Dominic Mysterio calls her stupid. Angie Mysterio grabs the microphone from his hand, but he grabs it back and yells in her face to shut up. Um, Ray Mysterio has seen. Ray Mysterio has seen enough of his son's insolence. Um, Ray Mysterio punches Dominic down, and the crowd explodes. Ray says Dominic pushes him to this. Dominic cannot disrespect his mother like that. That's Ray Mysterio's wife. Ray says you wanted a fight at WrestleMania. You're on. The crowd you us and with glee. Ray Mysterio says I'll see you at WrestleMania soon. Uh, son, Dominic backs away from his father. Ray Mysterio tends to the family that he that he's not fighting at WrestleMania. Now, thank you, Ray Mysterio, for finally putting his hands, putting your hands on Dominic Mysterio. So, um, that was a that was a good promo. That was a good promo, and I'm glad. Thank you. So once again, Ray Mysterio, thank you for putting your putting your hands on Dominic Mysterio because Dominic Myster- Dominic Mysterio deserves that. So that's all I gotta say. And that was a good segment. All right, let's move on. Later, later tonight, Sami Zayn will be the special guest on the Kevin Owens show. WrestleMania goes Hollywood in eight days. So we'll go to commercial break. Andy Kaufman will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2023, joining Rey Mysterio in the Great Muda. Okay, let's move on. Liv Morgan and Raquel, Raquel Gonzalez are shown at, rings, at ringside. Tag team match. Lacey Evans and Zia Z- Lee versus Shotzi and Natalia. Um, this match, this tag team match, I did not really care. This that tag team match, this tag team match was god awful. Shasi starts against Lacey Evans. 
Lacey Evans quickly takes her down by the hair for a one count. Lacey Evans shoulders Shotzi in the corner and taps Zali in. Zali knees Shotzi in the face and hits Exploder Suplex for a two count. Lacey Evans tags back in and hits a slingshot Bronco Buster. Lacey Evans bounces Shotzi off the mat a few times for a 42 count. Lacey Evans takes Shotzi down and knocks Natalia off the apron. Shotzi quickly rolls Lacey Evans up for a two count. Shotzi then drops her with an insecurity. Shotzi boots Lacey Evans back and charges, but Lacey Evans cuts her off with a clothesline for a two count. Zali tags back in. Lacey Evans and Zali sends Shotzi into the ropes. Zali, I mean, Shotzi kicks Zali in the face and hits Lacey Evans with a jawbreaker. Shotzi ducks a woman's right and Lacey Evans accidentally, accidentally takes out her t- takes out her tag partner Zali. And Natalia is on the apron and gets Lacey Evans out of the ring. Shotzi hits a suicide dive on Lacey Evans. Natalia p- picks Zali up. Natalia rolls Shotzi hits Zali with a heart with a heart attack. Natalia then applies the sharpshooter for the submission. The winner of the match, um, Shotzi and Natalia. This hat team match was god awful. Shotzi and Natalia have qualified for the WrestleMania Women's Tag Team Showcase, which is I don't know why. I don't know. Then Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler walk out on the stage. Shayna Baszler says a lot of wo- a lot of the women in the ring have a reason to hate them. They broken their hands, arms, nose, and spirits. Shayna Baszler says they can give them a reason to hate them. Ronda Rousey declines, saying that saying they sold out this arena enough and never got any respect. Shayna Baszler says they've been added to the WrestleMania Showcase match and we'll see them there. Okay, let's move on. Replay of showing the WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther attacking Drew McIntyre and Sheamus before a winner could be determined last week on SmackDown. Um, Drew McIntyre makes his way to the ring. The contract signing for the WWE Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat Match at WrestleMania is next. Okay, so we go to commercial break. We play our showing of Rey Mysterio punching Dominic Mysterio after the after a ladder disrespecting Angie Mysterio. Next week is WrestleMania. Rey Mysterio will battle his son Dominic Mysterio. Okay, let's move on. WrestleMania contract signing. <clears throat> WWE official Adam Pearce welcomes everyone to the official contract signing for the WWE Intercontinental Championship True or Threat match at WrestleMania 39. Sheamus music hit. I'm sorry. Sheamus music cuts him off, and he comes out to the stage with Rich Hollins and Butch. Everyone is wondering why he's so mad at Drew McIntyre. Imagine working for 15 years to achieve a particle goal. Then imagine telling your best friend that particle goal and him trying to steal it from you. It's a friend that you did so much for, including bringing them to his. First training session for this business. Sheamus and the Brown and Bruce get on the apron. Sheamus says to imagine getting the opportunity to sm- to smash that person's face in and at the great grandest stage of them all because they're they're a back they're they're a backstabber. Drew McIntyre tells Sheamus to imagine shutting up. McIntyre says it's embarrassing that Sheamus keeps carrying on. Last week, they remind everyone why they why the most physical superstars in WWE. After they should they should be in the bar laughing about it. Now Sheamus has has such a temper. Sheamus can separate personal and business. McIntyre has beaten him and knows he can't beat Gun- Gunther. Um, history has shown that Sheamus can't. Um, Adam Pierce. Says they can fight at fight a net. Adam Pierce says they can fight at week from now, but he needs three signature on the contract to get taken care of when McIntyre signs signs and then Sheamus does. 
WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther charged charged down to the ring and gets in Adam Pearce's face. Gunther wants Adam Pearce to justify making this match where these two could pin each other and he can still lose. Adam Pearce begs him to back down. Gunther angrily signs it and asks if Adam Pearce is happy. Gunther says whatever he does to retain his Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania will be justified. Gunther will beat Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and even the Brawling Brutes. And all right, Butch dives over the table and attacks Gunther before being pulling, be pulled off. Gunther, Gunther demands that Adam Pearce make a match now. Okay, commercial break. So we get a non-title match. Butch versus WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther. Now, this match was, um, this, I'm going to say, this match was all right for what it was. But this match, but this was, but this felt random. But this match was all right for what it was. So it was okay for what it was. Sheamus, Rich Hollins, and Drew McIntyre remain at ringside. We joined this match and progress. And pro- progress, Gunther big boots Butch down and hits a scoop slam. Butch kicks Gunther in the face and goes for joint ma- manipulation. Gunther, Gun- Gunther counters out with a vertical suplex. Gunther shatters the- around the ring and viciously chops Butch down. Gunther pulls pulls Butch up and viciously chops him chops him back down. Gunther continues to pull him up to his feet and chops him back down. Butch tries to apply a submission, but Gunther counters with a Boston Crab. Butch tries to twist out, but Gunther counters into a cross face. Butch twists the fingers to get out, but Gunther clubs him in the chest to take him out. Gunther pulls him up, but Butch hits a pair of insecurities. Gunther avoids a third and turns him inside out with a German suplex. Gunther lays him on the top rope and viciously chops the chest before choking him. Bush falls out of the ring and hits a steel steel steps on the way down. So we go to commercial break. We come back from the break to see Gunther attempting the 10 beats of the battery. Bush counters and snaps the fingers. Butch forearms Gunther back and back and kicks him in the face. Butch comes off the second rope with a stomp to the arm. Gunther gets out of the a slam and applies a sleeper hole. Butch soon flips through a German suplex and kicks him in the head. Gunther rolls out of the ring and avoids a moonsault off the apron. Gunther then chops chops Butch over the commentary table. Um, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre approach approach Gunther. Butch leaps off the table, but Gunther sends him into Drew McIntyre. Gunther knocks Butch into the ring. Butch stumps Gunther's hand, and as he gets in, McIntyre gets on the apron, but Sheamus pulls him down. McIntyre hits Sheamus with a colossal kiss. Rich Hollins grabs McIntyre, but McIntyre sends him into the ring post. Sheamus then needs McIntyre in the face, in the ring. Gunther turns Butch inside out with a clothesline. Gunther connects with a last sympathy for the victory. The winner of the match, Gunther. This match was okay for what it was. Sheamus gets in the ring and approach, approaches Gunther. Sheamus then side, steps aside. And McIntyre hits Gunther with a, with a Claymore kick. McIntyre and Sheamus stare at each other. And I'm, I'm, and I must say this. Gunther better retain the WWE Intercontinental Championship by WrestleMania. I do not want to see Gunther lose his WWE Intercontinental Champion because Gunther is a great Intercontinental Champion. And that's all I got to say. But Gunther cannot lose at WrestleMania. That's all I got to say. So I got Gunther retaining the WWE Intercontinental Champion. And I'm calling it straight down the middle. All right, let's move on. The Street Profits are backstage and and are excited about being in the men's WrestleMania Tag Team Showcase match. Um, Braun Strowman and, and Rich and um, Ricochet <coughs> approach them, and both men team teams argue. <coughs> okay, Kevin Owens makes his way to the ring. The KL show is next. <coughs> Commercial break. This Monday on Raw, Cody Rhodes will battle Sol- Solo Sequoia. 
next week on WrestleMania, next week on WrestleMania um, SmackDown, undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes go face to face. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus will team against Imperium, Louis Caster and G G Vanny Vancey. Finally, we see the return of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Okay, <clears throat> so we get the Kevin Owens show with special guest Sami Zayn. Um, this um, this was um, this was this this was a promo. This, this promo was quick. Kevin Owens welcomes everyone to the Kevin Owens show. His guest is his his guest is his tag team partner, friend, and brother, Sami Zayn. Okay, Sami Zayn makes his way to the ring, makes his way to a big reception. Sami Zayn gets in the ring, and a loud Sami chant picks up. Kevin Owens asks if he did Sami Zayn introduction correctly. Sami Zayn says he didn't want a big introduction. Kevin Owens says he wanted to come out together, but Sami Zayn wanted to come out by himself. Kevin Owens says Sami Zayn wanted his his own pop. The crowd loves Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens gets it. Another Sami Zayn chant. Sami Zayn chant picks up. Sami Zayn asks if they can talk about WrestleMania. Sami Zayn has been wanted to 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 take down Roman Reigns. The Usos in the bloodline. Sami Zayn asks if Cody, if Kevin Owens realized what they on the verge of doing. They started together in Montreal from no from nothing and are on the verge of winning the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions together at WrestleMania thirty nine. This this isn't just any WrestleMania thirty nine. This is WrestleMania feels different this year. <clears throat> Kevin Owens says he does feel that WrestleMania thirty nine is different. That's why Kevin Owens brought him out here. Kevin Owens has something for Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens told him Months ago, after Roman Reigns gave him the honorary Ooze shirt, he told him he need a new shirt. Kevin Owens unveils the new KO Mania shirt. Sami Zayn likes it. Kevin Owens says there is something else on the shirt. This shirt pays tribute to the MVP of WWE. An MVP champ picks up. <clears throat> This year it is about what on what's on the front of the shirt. Kevin Owens tosses Sami Zayn the shirt. Sami Zayn shows that it says Wrestle Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn flips out. Kevin Owens takes off the his jacket and and is already wearing the shirt. Sami Zayn then puts his shirt on. The crowd loudly cheers. <clears throat> Sami Zayn wants a hug, but Kevin Owens says he gets one hug a year. Then they then hug to a big pop. <coughs> Excuse me. The Usos then assault assault them from out of nowhere. The crowd lolly boos. The Uso takes Kevin Owens out with a double super kick. Then I'm sorry, they then take Sami Zayn out with a one D. Kevin Owens chases them off with a steel chair. The Uso stare at their WrestleMania 39 opponents as the show comes to an end. Okay, I just want to say, now SmackDown was a decent show. But the one thing I enjoyed was Rey Mysterio's segment. And that's all I got to say. But, th- but like I said earlier, thank you Rey Mysterio for put- for standing up for yourself and putting-, and putting your hands on Dominic Mysterio because Dominic Mysterio deserves that. Dominic Mysterio, Mysterio deserves that. But anyway, SmackDown was a decent show, and that's all I gotta say. But everything else on the card, which is there. But anyway, um, if you guys enjoy my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what your thoughts on SmackDown. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my um, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Now, if I don't have nothing to do tomorrow, I will go live on YouTube. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this your boy, Big Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great Friday. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.